A very good evening and good morning to all the participants. We are going to start today's session. I hope all the participants are able to hear me. I hope all the participants are able to hear me. Thank you. Thank you so much. And today I'm going to explain S4 HANA introduction and overview. We're also going to see a roadmap to SAP S4 HANA. We will see introduction to Fury apps. So this is the agenda for today. I'm just trying to write down the agenda for today. And we're also going to see what is simple logistics and simple finance. <clears throat> so we'll see the introduction to simple logistics and simple finance. And we'll also focus on what are the highlights of S4 HANA. 1709 edition. So this is the agenda for today's session. Okay, participants. So I hope all the participants are able to see my screen. So basically what is S4 HANA? S4 HANA is nothing but the fourth generation SAP HANA. It is one of the most advanced in-memory platform. S4 HANA is only built on SAP HANA. The only platform S4 HANA is SAP HANA. <coughs> SAP S4 HANA is only platform that can deliver massive simplification to the complete platform. SAP HANA is a key element for SAP HANA. So you have different areas like customer adoption, the simplification is delivered based on data models. It also helps us for decision making. And also massive simplification of business processes and models. So basically, it uh, delivers very, very simplified processes for customer adoption and all the other areas that are listed down. Now, now we will see the roadmap to SAP S4 HANA. So let's see the roadmap. So what's the roadmap for S4 HANA? A 
as you know the evaluation of uh, sap was started in the year 1972 based on r by 2 just participants uh, for 5 minutes i just would like to give you the introduction and as you know r by 3 was released in 1992 in 2014 sorry in the year of 2004 as you know erp was released in market and in the year of 2015 sap has come out with s4 hana in the same year it also has come out with a version which is 1511 and the latest version that you find now is 1709 edition now if you see the road map of sap hana sap hana was developed in the year of 2011 so in the year of 2011 sap hana was developed so initially if you see there are about 500 organizations that started to implement sap hana in 2012 the first release was made in 2012 that the first application started to support for is bw powered by sap hana in the year of 2012 so bw4 bw on hana was the first product that, that was leveraging the capabilities of sap hana <coughs> which is known as bw powered by sap hana so subsequently in the year 2013 sap introduced business suite on sap hana in the year of 2013 that is also the application that is completely transformed based on sap hana platform So this is nothing but business suite powered by SAP Hana that is to support real time business. Yeah. 
So in the year of 2014, SAP introduced Simple Finance, which is a plugin, which is a plugin to the existing uh, ERP system. Later in 2015, so the first release of S4 HANA was introduced. And in the recent uh, 2017, SAP released the latest version of S4 HANA, which is 1709 edition in the year of 2017. Now let's see, just I would like to give you a very brief introduction to what is SAP HANA. So basically it is nothing but a database. It combines both row-based and column-based technology. provides the most advanced technology for in-memory in the current industry. So S4 HANA is nothing but it's a new product that is built by SAP on top of SAP HANA to support the digital economy. And the latest architecture that is designed for different business processes based on S4 HANA. S4 HANA plays a very crucial role in, re in reshaping the businesses. It has a very good user interface. Basically, it has a, a excellent user interface, which is called Fury Apps. SAP Fury is an entry point on mobile. On mobile devices as well as the desktop devices. It contains various styles.
So I'll just try to show you and launch the Fury apps. So let me log into system. So here you have the Fury link on the remote desktop. I'm just trying to open the Fury link. <laughs> so let me copy paste the link. So click enter. Provide the username and password. Username is best and password is W capital welcome one two three. So here is the Fury apps. So this is called as a SAP Fury homepage. SAP Fury contains various styles. It contains various styles. Now these styles are based on user roles. So basically it contains various roles like sales department, project manager. So most importantly, an end user uh, maximum may have about 20 apps. So whatever the role he's playing in the organization, so based on his role, he will, he will be able to see those uh, tiles over here. It can support for multiple device types and it provides a single user interface for all the devices in order to execute the smart business. If you want to edit the home page, click on the user. Click on edit home page. So edit the home page and you can add apps to the home page. SAP Fury is frequently used SAP functions, information lookups, SAP Fury Launchpad, SAP Fury Apps, so you have services such as navigation, personalization, It also has an embedded support and integration. provides a very uh, simple and easy to use application across different desktops as well as the mobile applications. There are three types of Fury apps. So basically you have three types of Fury apps. The first one is known as
basically you have three types. One is called as transactional, the second one is analytical, and third one is fact sheets. Transactional apps, analytical apps, and fact sheets. It's called analytical apps. And third one would be fact sheets. So basically, a transaction labs are allowed to do transactions. So it's based their use for uh, transactions. So basically, you can create a sale order, purchase order. All these are known as transaction apps. They're creating a leave request for employee. All this comes under transaction apps. Now, second is the analytical apps. Analytical apps are basically used for analysis. They're used to display, for example, like budget purchase documents. So basically they give a role-based real-time information. These apps run on SAP HANA database. Analytical apps basically leverage the capabilities of SAP HANA and execute on the business feed. So whenever you have a large volume of data in the front end, so in those cases, so when you have multiple graphical user interface, or just like dashboards, you can use fact sheets. Faxes also help us to give uh, <clears throat> business information. You can navigate from one fact sheet to the other fact sheet and those uh, related fact sheets. We can no navigate from a document to the master area. Some fact sheets you can also uh, use it in uh, different uh, applications like logistics and finance. This can also be used as a backend system. We can also use them directly in the backend system. We can also use uh, WebTime Pro in order to display this uh, fact sheets. To run this Fury apps, you require an ABAP stack.
in s4 hara we have two main uh, components one is simple logistics and the other one is simple finance Sulhana Finance is uh, the first business application that was running on uh, SAP S4 HANA platform. All the participants able to hear me? Yes, uh, because some, some participants did not mute, that's why. Participants able to hear me? So what I'm trying to explain here is uh, basically SAP HANA is based on rows and columns and then here you have the simple logistics. So you have a release on uh, S4 HANA 1709 edition for simple logistics. So you have a lot of other functionalities for SAP Fury apps, mainly for the end users. And you have different uh, predictive capabilities. You have embedded analytics and you have predictive capabilities. <clears throat> and then you have uh, predictive capabilities here.
So basically, uh, yes, for HANA logistics is mainly for faster processing of data, completely Now, because SAP is also changing uh, based on its market demand. So faster for data processing. And then you have different components like a simple finance and uh, simple logistics and HR also we have. So in simple finance, we mainly focus on, so in finance, we are the main, mainly focus on general ledger. focus on general ledgers and uh, focus on the general ledger. Sorry, the spelling mistake. And uh, financial accounting. We'll focus on the financial accounting. We'll focus on uh, controlling. focus on controlling and we'll focus on asset accounting. And finally, bank accounting. So these will focus on the simple finance. Now coming to the logistics part, we'll focus on coming to the logistics, we'll focus on the material management, focus on the middle management we'll focus on sales and distribution sale order processing we'll focus on production planning production planning Normally, okay, one minute, let me, let me open the paint. So basically, if you see, uh, from the ECC point of view, what is the major uh, disadvantage is it is not available on the cloud and it is working on the traditional RDBMS. It works on the traditional database. Now if you see, now uh, the, the current S4 HANA is completely based on RAM. In 2015, SAP Enterprise Management simplifies both finance as well as logistics. The business suite is now called as Enterprise Management. In SAP uh, HANA 17 edition, we have additional features.
So both 16, 10, as well as 17, 09 have different additional features. We have uh, EWM, Quality Management, APO, Advanced Plan Optimizer. In 2017, the 17, 09 version There are a lot of additional features like CRM, customer relationship management. <clears throat> so these are the uh, 1610, you have EWM and uh, In 1709, you have uh, CRM, Customer Relationship Management, and Supplier Relationship Management, SRM. So these are the new things that are introduced in 1709 edition. So basically you have a CRM and customer relationship management and supplier management. So in this, we're going to cover the keys, the dimensions, and the quality and currency. If So here you have keys, dimensions, and the quality and currency. If one value basically change, one single field changes, the complete data set will be duplicated. Even if you change one value for the complete data set. As you know, ERP, consists of multiple tables. Now this is how the ERP works. But whether the SAP HANA runs on a column oriented DB and it only works on insert only option. In ECC we have The system would read the complete table based on some parameters and it would convert them into different structures. After holding the data into the structure, the same data would be displayed in the report. Now in S4 HANA, You 
you know, there is no uh, concept of aggregates. So aggregate concept is completely eliminated in this whole market. There are some tables uh, which combine multiple tables and get into a single table. Like in S4 HANA, you don't have any aggregates. For example, you have uh, Mac Doc and uh, AC Doc in it. The different tables are combined to one single table. Mac Doc and AC Doc A. Basically, these are uh, transparent tables, MapDoc and ACDoc. Okay? Now, all these are transparent tables. Since HANA is a column oriented, Normally in ECC, you see there are a lot of tables. Instead of having multiple tables to process, now we only have a single table to process. If it takes a, if it take two minutes to run a report on two tables. Now in SAP HANA, it only runs in two seconds on mad talk table. The second one is the universal journal table. It combines all the line item documents like asset accounting and controlling. Just today, I was just trying to give you a very brief introduction to SAP S4 HANA. So, AC Doc A is mostly on the FIA. It contains all the line item documents. Finance, asset accounting and controlling. So, all the line item documents are placed in AC Doc A. So just uh, in today's session, I was just trying to give you the introduction to S4 HANA. S4 HANA is nothing but a fourth generation in-memory platform. And then I was just trying to show you how we have to do the customer adoption, data model, user experience, decision making, different business process and models. Then I was trying to show you the roadmap for S4 HANA. In 1972, for the first year we was released and then in 1992, R3, 2004 ERP, and 2015 S4 HANA. Later in 2015, SAP released the first edition of S4 HANA. This time I'm trying to give you a quick recap. In 2011, as you know, SAP HANA is released into market. And then 2012, the first application that is BW powered by SAP HANA. In the year 2013, the SAP released the first business suite powered by SAP HANA for real-time business. Later in 2014, SAP released the complete add-on to the existing ERP, which is known as Simple Finance powered by SAP HANA. Now, so you also know what HANA is. HANA is nothing but a database, role-oriented in-memory technology. 
the new product that is released into market is S4 now, mainly for real time business. To support business, it has a front end application called Fury Apps. In Fury Apps, there are three types of apps one is transactional, the second one is analytical, and the third one is fact sheets. Transactional apps are basically to post sale or to purchase order. Analytical apps mainly to show data in a graphical user interface. And fact sheets are basically to do comparison and to drill, to drill down from line items to master account. So coming to the, uh, after I uh, showed you the Fury apps, then I was trying to give you a very basic introduction to simple finance. So as a part of simple finance, SAP provided applications that regards to general ledger, financial accounting, controlling, asset accounting, and bank accounts. Now coming to the logistics, we are going to mainly focus on middle management, sale order processing, and production planning. Now, now coming to the, what are the disadvantages of existing ECC? Now ECC, as you know, it operates on a traditional database. In 1610, when SAP released 1610 edition, two major components were released. One is EWM and the other one is APU. In 1709, SAP released two other components of business suite, which is customer relationship management, supplier management, supplier relationship management, into 1709 edition. So let us continue with introduction to the simple finance. So in the introduction to the simple finance, So SAP S4 HANA Simple Finance is an add-on product on top of business suite. The S4 HANA Simple Finance, <clears throat> the previous name of the product is known as Simple Finance. Currently SAP changed the name to S4 HANA Finance. This is mainly developed for the financials for S4 HANA. Now S4 HANA is set of financial management, accounting, financial planning and analysis. So basically it's a set of financial management, accounting, financial management and analysis. Simple finance helps the companies to analyze the financial condition in the market. It is built on top of SAP HANA platform. So mainly S4 HANA finance support operational efficiency. SAP S4 HANA finance is developed on a platform. Both combine the network platform and the SAP HANA platform. So basically we call it as SAP NetWeaver and the business suite. SAP Simple Finance is mainly delivered 
for the simplification of financial modules. And in here you also have another module called logistics that we will discuss later. So in simple finance, we have finance as well as the controlling. Completely it covers the entire financial management portfolio. S4 HANA Finance, we generate the reporting that is very flexible to the business users. Normally, if you see in SAP GUI, we use transaction codes, but most of the apps now here are built based on SAP Fury apps that we'll see uh, shortly. SAP S4 HANA Finance use an in-memory concept completely it is based on SAP HANA based new architecture. It is completely built on new in-memory platform. Now let us start discussing about Universal Journal. What is Universal General in S4 Hall? It has made a business life very much easier for business users. So basically it has financials and management based accounting system. The new Universal Journal has combined financial accounting and controlling. Financial accounting and controlling are now both combined. All accounting related transactions are made relevant to application components. So in here you have different components such as financial accounting, controlling, asset accounting, and material ledger. So you have financial accounting, controlling, asset accounting, and material ledger. The advantage of having all this information in one place no reconciliation activities are required so that's one advantage complete data redundancy is eliminated Shortly, I will explain in detail in this session. And line items are entered only once. So this is the main advantage of having all the information in one place. In 
order to bring everything together, reconciliation ledger was developed. For this functionality, there is a change in master data, tables, and also in the configuration. The big advantage of Universal Journal reporting is completely based on AC DOPA table. Most of the index tables and tables that are written are completely eliminated. Now we have only one single table called AC DOPA table. So these are the tables that we, we were previously using, BSIS, BSAS, BSID, BSAD. These are the index tables that we were using in the traditional SAP system. So these are the index tables. So you also have few of the aggregated tables. GLTO. Aggregated tables are nothing but they are used to summarize data. So these are all GLT3, KNC1. <coughs> LFC1. These are the few aggregated tables. So all the participants are able to hear me clearly. Because I got a message, participants not able to hear me. Is everything okay, participants? So there are some of the other tables that are also involved. Now all these Information is recorded in AC Docker table. BKPF and AC Docker table are the two main tables. BKPF is a header table, and the respective item table. In the respective item table is AC Docker table. Header table consists of header data. DKPF header information in an accounting document, we mainly use the DKPF table. Line item tables gives the details of the individual line items. AC Docker table is one of the line item tables where it has uh, all the fields required for general ledger and material ledger, etc. All this information is stored in PKPF and AC Docker table. No longer these tables are used. Index tables and aggregated tables are not used. Completely, it is based on BKPF and AC Docker table. <coughs> so, 
we also have on top of these tables, we have compatibility views, which are called as CDS views, code data services. We can also continue to use old tables for reporting purpose. Now let us see what is AC Docker table. Let's go more details into AC Docker table. So AC Docker table is not it's basically known as universal table where it has all data related to financial accounting. Asset accounting. And controlling. Universal General combines FI the Universal General combines FI tables CO tables Combines the FI tables and CO tables into the single pool called AC Docker table. The universal general combines all the data that is present in FI and CO tables are completely dumped into AC Docker tables. The introduction of the SAP HANA database technology enables us to use this table. SAP HANA, as you know, is a columnar database. It can, in fact, handle huge number of line items that enables us to combine multiple tables into single tables. It is going to fetch data based on some user input values. So based on the user input, it can hold data and then retrieve data as fast as possible to business. In S4 HANA, there is no concept of aggregates. So aggregates are something where you aggregate, pre-fabricate data and keep in different tables. But in a, in, with the introduction of SAP HANA platform, completely aggregates are removed. And we completely store the entire data into one single table. BKPF, PF, BSEG, FAGLF, EXA, and CO tables. CO PK CO EP So these are the two different tables coming to the CO Now what I'm going to show you a practical on how it is different in the traditional ECC and how it is different on 
SAP HANA. So let us see both these systems. So let us log into ECC system. So enter the user ID best, password, welcome123. So I'm just trying to log into the ECC system. Enter the T code S11. Now let's enter the table name. So let us take an example of BKPF table. So let's see BKPF table. So here you can see BKPF table, click display. Click on contents. So let us give, let us give a document number and click execute. <coughs> now here you see DKP of table ECC. So let us take one more table. Let's take data for another table. FAGLF LEXA. So one of the FA tables. General exit actual line items. So provide the document number. Execute. So here you can see data of FAG FLEXA. Now let's see whether AC Docker table is present in ECC or not. Let's check for AC Docker table and click display. You see it says AC Docker does not exist, check name. So AC Docker table does not exist in ECC system. So now what we do is we go and check in S4 HANA. Double click on S4 HANA. The username is best. Password is WCAT. Welcome on to three. And click enter. Continue with this logon. And click on confirm selection. Enter the T code SC11. Enter the AC Docker table. Now we are in S4 HANA. Click display. So universal journal. <coughs> Click execute. Now we can see the data of AC Docker table. Okay, participants. So we can also see AC Doka table in, S in the HANA Studio also. So let us log into the HANA Studio. So let's, so basically how you have to see the, in the same SC11 you can see the AC Doka table. But now I'm just trying to show in the catalog in the SAP HANA how we have to so we need to navigate to the catalog. Expand schema. Expand tables. Just filter on. Click on filter. Table, AC Docker table. Click on table and open data preview. So here we can see, here we can see the AC Docker table. Click enter. So here you go. So here you can.
can see the document number. Here we can see the difference of VCC and S4 HANA. So let us go back. Expand accounting, expand controlling, expand cost element accounting, expand master data, expand cost elements, expand individual processing, These are all different T codes. Now let us go back to S4 HANA and check. So once you go back to S4 HANA, so do you see here? Now we are in the S4 HANA. So there you, here you can see there are multiple T codes. So here you see there is a FS00 is mainly to edit the cost elements. So like this you see transaction code changes, changes on the tables, changes in the configuration. Let us see how we can post entries in AC Docker table. How entries get posted in AC Docker table. <clears throat> so what we'll do is we'll use SAP Fury apps in order to post entries into AC Docker table. So let us log into Fury apps. So let's copy the Fury link. So let's log into the Google Chrome. Provide the username is best. And provide the password that you kept welcome. One, two, three, and click log on. Once we log in, so now we are at Fury Apps. So here you find the Fury homepage. So click on what one participant is loading the tiles. So let us enter manage GL account master data. <coughs> manage GLF of master data. Click enter. Click close. So let us enter the GL open master data screen. This is what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to post entries in AC Docker table. So let us give the GL account.
interchange of efforts. So this chart of accounts. Primary cost for revenue. Enter the account group, 1000. Short text is asset. GL account long text bank asset. <clears throat> Click on company code data. Click on the plus icon. Enter the company code. Enter the currency. Select posting without tax allowed. Enter the field status group. So let us select G0023 and let us click OK. Let us click on controlling data. Provide the cost element category. Primary cost. So click on save. Once you click save, enter the chart of accounts. Chart of accounts is 9000. And the GL account is 100. One double zero double one one double zero. Here you can see the GL account, chart of account. Short text is asset balance sheet account. So the GL account that we created in Fury Apps. Now let's see the backend system. Let's go to SAP HANA. Let us right click refresh. Let us copy the GL account number. Click on table and open data preview. And let us search for this GL account and click enter. So now here you can see the GL account that is reflected in AC Docker table. Okay, participants. By using the GL account, we can create entries in AC Docker table. So here we have created one entry in AC Docker table. Chart of accounts is 9000.
So we're just trying to show participants the introduction to the simple finance and how you have these different tables which is based on SAP HANA platform. So what are the advantages participants for the new S4 HANA financial accounting? No reconciliation activities are needed. The data redundancies are eliminated. The line items can only be entered only once. So these are the advantages. Now, in the traditional ECC, we used to have index tables like BSIS, BSAS, BSID, BSAD. And aggregated tables are tables which are used to summarize data. <coughs> now, in the new S4 HANA, BKPF is a header table and line item table is AC Docker table. So the, so the complete financial accounting, asset accounting and controlling, everything, it's related data for FI tables and CO tables <coughs> are now directly posted to AC Docker table. This time I'm trying to give you introduction to S4 on finance today. And then I was also trying to show you FI tables on the traditional ECC system. Only after you migrate, we can find AC Docker table as S4 on So I'm also going to show participants on how to do the detailed migration from traditional ECC and how we have to migrate to S4 HANA. Excuse me. And then we were also trying to see the universal general table in S4 HANA. And we see the table in the SAP HANA Studio by going to the catalog, going to the schema. And then we started to create a GL account master data using the SAP Fury ads. And finally, entries are posted back to the HANA Studio AC Roper table. Now, let me show assignments to the participants. So let us go to the drop box. Do you want to see the assignment for today's session? Go to the drop box. Go to set to assignments. Go to SQL on assignments. Good as well on finance. Here you can see universe, the seventh for universal general S4 HANA and how to create GL account master data and how it affected in the AC Docker table. Let us open the assignment. Here I've given the detailed explanation. and the difference between the HP7 and S4 UI system. What are the FA, what are the FA tables? Data in the tables. Let's see PSCG table. Next, CO tables and also you can see the data in the AC Docker table. Let us go back. Let us open the create GL account master data status 
Thank you all the participants to attend today's session. I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.